Hi, phone losers. What's going on? Hello. Hello, Adam. Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on a car over there at that auto place. Roy. Gerbel, I, I left a note on a car, and you get, you left a message for me to call you back. Oh, yes, yeah. Hi, how are you, Roy? Not too bad. Yeah, no, I uh, I appreciate uh, I appreciate you leaving the note. Um, mm -hmm. Where where did you hit the car? Um, well, it's kind of on the inside of the you know the gas tank door. Okay. I, I kind of like if you open up the door, I, I scratched the, that up real good. I, I scratched a bunch of paint off as I was lifting. A device out of the gas tank. Oh, okay. So you were were you just like here looking at cars over the weekend, or? Well, I, I was um, I was getting some gas. I was siphoning some gas, and the the siphoner you were I siphoning. Okay, you were siphoning gas from that Mercedes. Yes, yes, because it's a Mercedes. You know they can afford it. But the siphoner, it's like got a metal handle, and as I was pulling it out of the the gas tank uh it scraped alongside wait, the door and like just took out a big chunk wait, of paint are you are you serious you siphoned gas out of one of my clients vehicles yes sir but it's a mercedes I, I always go for the the pricey cars because they can afford it i i don't i don't give a fuck if it was a honda civic oh don't you, curse you at me stole fuel from you stole fuel from one of my clients vehicles on private property that's an offense well, I, it's I didn't even take much. I I just I took like I don't, maybe half. I don't half. care if you took two dollars worth. You stole fuel from one of my clients' vehicles on our private property. What in the world gives you the right to do that? Um. Well, I I just didn't think they'd mind. They they probably just think you took it for a test drive or something. If they noticed the gas missing, that's all. It's not a big deal, really. It's just, it's I didn't even take it, probably it, only a quarter of a tank. It, it is a big it is a big deal because not only did you steal fuel from my client's vehicle, but you also damaged that vehicle in the process. Oh, I, I, it's just a little bit of paint, and it's on the inside of the door, so it doesn't matter. But I can buy some touch-up paint if you'd like. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have to call my client because mm -hmm. we had to we had to explain the situation to him, and I'm going to call him and I'm going to give him your number. To contact okay. you is this the best number to contact you yeah at? yeah this is my cell phone i'm i'm i've here all day uh you know i don't work okay. or anything yeah i it, will i yeah i will give him the number and i will have him contact you directly and for future reference don't ever set foot on our property again and don't ever touch what? any no, of I, our vehicles no i come there all the time and do this because I, I drive an suv and I, I need more gas than most people so it's what <laughs> Okay, so what you can't you can't afford to go to the gas station like every other person and fill and pay for fuel like everybody else does? No, it's a SUV. And by the way, I used to own a Honda Civic, so I don't appreciate your dig at people that own Honda Civics. Over I don't here. appreciate you fucking stealing from my clients. And you're lucky I don't call the police on you. That's oh, a, oh, that is the, this is the dumbest. This is the dumbest fucking thing I have ever oh. heard. I would expect this from some sixteen year old, but you sound like you're a grown ass man. Yeah, How the I am. Fuck, could you think that this would be acceptable? Well, okay, maybe you're, you're saying I, I'm I'm dumb, but you know what? You're the one that pays for gas. I don't even have to pay for gas. Yeah, was, because you fucking steal it. Yeah, you're but, a piece of shit, and you fucking steal fuel from other people's cars. Well, it's it's just it's I don't even take all of the gas. I just take like a quarter of a tank, and so it's not a big deal. You you and, just you're not you're not getting it. You don't understand. You're you're. It doesn't matter if you take. It doesn't matter if you took a fucking valve stem off of their tire. Oh, I've done it, that. It, it, for a ten cents, it's it's stealing, and this well, is private property. We well, could press charges on you for doing this. Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to maybe like uh, fill up the tank with uh, urine? You know the stuff that I I'll, I'll replace what I take with urine next time I'm at your place. Next time you come to our place. We're yep. going to fucking punch you in the face if we oh, see you. Well, no, I only come at night after you're closed. Okay. Well, then I'm going to have to let I'm going to have to let our uh, I'm going to have to let our owner know. Oh, and whatever. And I'm going to give him Yeah, what's your, what's your last name, right? Oh, what do you care? It's just a Mercedes. They they can afford it. Yeah, well, obviously you can't afford to drive the car you're in cuz you're stealing fuel from people that actually make a ho an honest living well, and, just, and are able to afford these vehicles. I have really high car payments. They're like over 400 bucks a month oh. for my SUV, so I oh, need, okay. I just got to save a little bit extra money here and there. Oh, okay. All right.
Well, it sounds it sounds like you're you bought something that you can't really afford to drive to begin with. Yes, I can. So as long as I keep should... siphoning gas, I can afford it just fine. You douche canoe. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to give the client your uh, your name and oh, your I number. Hope... You probably won't answer anyways. Yeah, I will. So... Why wouldn't I answer? Okay. All right, well, I'm going to give him your name and number, and I will okay. have him contact you directly. Well, I don't appreciate your attitude, and you know what? I'm never going to buy a car fuck from you, you guys. Roy. I'm never buying a car fuck from you. there. Never, ever. You, you, fuck you. I'm going to tell all my don't friends. Don't ever fucking come on our property again. Fuck I'm, I'm going to tell all my friends never. <laughs> You're listening to the Stump House Show. Roy Chappelle is on the radio. Since Dad is working right next door, please don't give up snake eyes anymore. Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is June 21st, 2021, and this is episode 707. It's brought to you by Lord and Lady of Veggies, Ryan B., Brennan, Shrink Man, and High School Graduate. Those five people support us on patreon.com slash phone losers. Why aren't you doing that? What the hell? I finally got my Vista Blue CDs of the Hang Up the Phone Snowplow Show songs. It's very confusing that he wrote Hang Up the Phone on it. That's a whole different show, Vista Blue. What the hell? But it looks great. It's filled with Nick Caesar art. And it has songs by Vista Blue, Reefer Badness, Joe DeVita, Zombie Cat, Wanna Know My Name, Red Box and the Chili Peppers, Great Big Pete, Beagle Dude. I'm just reading these all off of the back of the CD. Mike Recorgi and True Domco. You always told me his name was Quickfire YT, Mike Recorgi. What the hell? I've been lied to. David Citrix Savage, The Apex Disorder, Henrik, and some others that I already said. So if you want a CD of intro songs from this show that were all picked by Vista Blue, you should get this CD. I'm sure he's selling it somewhere. He's given me the link before. I don't remember where it is, but I'm going to figure that out and I'm going to put it in the show notes. This is the album that's going to be a vinyl record soon, so that's what I'm really looking forward to is Snowplow Show Music on a vinyl record. The CDs are just the thing that we're getting before the vinyl record. Thanks, Vista Blue, for making this happen. Hey, remember a few episodes ago I was calling up grandmas, and I forgot to mention this. It's been a while since she posted this. I think she posted it right after the grandma episode. I was calling up listeners' grandmas, and... I got this message from someone named Nancy. She says, I'm the Nana in this episode. It was great that my prank caller felt so comfortable with me that he could share that he is transgender. The truth is I have three grandsons. Oh yeah, I remember that one because she said she only had granddaughters. Wait, what? She tricked me. I'm just now realizing this. She says, I was just trying to trip him up and I have disinherited the grandson that gave him my phone number. I did not know who was calling me or why, but he totally cracked me up. And I think that's the real grandma because I went to her YouTube channel and she had a bunch of grandma type things on it, you know, like recitals or community event type stuff. I don't remember exactly, but that was pretty great to get a message on YouTube from one of the grandmas. Thanks, Nancy, for leaving us that message. That must have been episode 703 that happened on June 1st. Uh, A bunch of you ordered coins from me uh, a couple shows ago. I have sent all of those out, so if you ordered a coin, you should have gotten it already, or you're about to get it, maybe a little bit longer if you're overseas. But I still have plenty of coins left. If anyone wants to get some Snowplow Show coins or Phone Losers of America coins, go to phonelosers.bandcamp.com. That'd be nice. I want to get rid of all these coins. I got way too many. Thanks, everybody, for ordering coins. But don't you want some more of them? Lots more? All right, let's do some calls. But first, I'm going to play this thing that Henrik sent me, and I haven't listened to it yet, but he said it's a Soviet-era electrician. It's the Brad Corbin Soviet-era electrician, Soviet-era electromix. There was no fade-out in the Soviet era, so the thing does not fade out. I'm not allowed to fade this out into whatever I'm doing next, so you can blame Henrik for this. Did you just shut off the power for about 30 minutes? No. Why do we need a man? I, I am a man.
this is Ryan. I was calling about your uh, chickens you have for sale. If you could, please give me a call back when you get this eight one. Okay, let's call Ryan. See if he picks up. Hello. Hey, Ryan. You still interested in those chickens? Ryan. I'm sorry. Yes. Hey, you okay? Hi. Hi. I'm good. It's Roy. You called me about chickens. Yes, which ones were those? I'm sorry. It's... Oh, they're the vegan chickens? The what? Vegan chickens. Like, you can't use their eggs or uh, eat them or anything like that. Okay. What kind were they? The vegan chicken? Vegan? Yeah, well, they're, they're those black ones. They have a weird name. Oh, that yeah. I... Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that re- remind me. Uh, so you're just looking for... Big? Are, a... are they chicks or... Oh, I've got a little of everything. I've got some chicks. I've got some of the the really big ones. You just looking for yeah. a new a new pet, I guess. How how old are the chicks? Uh, just a few weeks. Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Because we just got four new uh, chicks. Oh, well, they're about six to eight weeks. Well, how many pets do you need? Oh, well, we got about 10 acres, so. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're just, uh, you're, you're not eating them, right? No. Oh, do you, you the don't? eggs, we are. Oh, God, are. don't, don't oh, eat, yeah. that's disgusting, sir. Excuse me? That's disgusting. You're eating the egg, you're eating the eggs. That's gross. You're not allowed to chicken eat. Chicken eggs? Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to eat the eggs of these chickens. They're vegan. No, not those. Not those? Like uh, Barred Rock chicken. What, what would you be doing with them? Yeah. If you're not going to have... In Rhode Island, red ch- you know, hens and stuff. Those are the ones we eat eggs. Oh, what, do you, what are you doing with these black chickens? Um, just for show. Yeah, right. Sounds like you're going to eat them. Uh, Sounds like you're going to eat them. Uh, no. Why would you just want a chicken for no reason? For, what do you mean for no reason? Well, if you're not going to eat them and you're not going to eat the eggs. We, well, just for from that, I'm just saying. For, we got other like a silky and impressive polish and stuff like that we're not going to eat. No, you're just gonna let them die of old age and and never eat any of their eggs. Their their eggs, I will. No, I'm no, you can't do that. They're vegan. I'm talking about the ones I currently have. Okay, well that's disgusting. I I can't sell my chickens to somebody that eats eggs. That's gross. You're a disgusting human being, sir. You should go vegan. Hell is that? You should go vegan, like like me and my family. You and your family? Yeah. We don't go around eating stuff out of chicken's you don't butts. Eat meat? No, we're vegan. Well, that's a problem. What do you mean it's a problem? What do you think they're there for? Well, you shouldn't be eating them. You shouldn't just be eating every animal you see. What do you eat your dogs well, too? That's what they're there for, so do what you do and I'll keep doing it. Well, are you eating your dogs? Are you, are you eating your horses and stuff? I guess if I was hungry enough. Wow, oh, you're a disgusting person. I was having a hard time getting him to understand that he couldn't have those eggs. Or wait, did he not want the eggs of the black chickens, the Armani, whatever they're called? I mean, is that a thing? Do people just get chickens to have chickens? I don't know much about this country living. I don't know what they use chickens for other than eggs and eating yeah this is john i'm calling about the sermani chickens you have on Craig. sermani not armani the list i was wondering about the price on chicks and fertile eggs uh this is john at 314 okay hello john who's this it's roy roy who yeah uh, you call me about the chickens oh roy when did i call you about chickens uh monday at 4 23 p.m oh really what do you got and where are you at? 
Well, I looked up your number on the internet and I know all about your reputation and I don't want to sell my chickens to a person like you. I think you're full of shit. What do you mean you know I'm full of shit? I think you're full of shit. I read all about you. Know, you. Oh, you didn't read the dick, buddy. You, you're disgusting. All right, he's apparently figured it out. I think that might be the guy that um, Devin got through to last week on her show because she was talking to some guy and it might have been that guy and the wife got on and she was freaking out and I wish I could play a clip of that right now, but fucking Devin hasn't put her show up yet, I don't think. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's not up yet. It was a good one, though. And the wife was really pissed at Devin for some reason. Hopefully she gets that posted soon. And I guess I'm uh, kind of far back already on all the chicken calls, so maybe I'll just stop doing this and see what else I have in the request folder. Thanks, whoever's been sending me chicken calls, though. I don't really know what to say to chicken people anymore. I've done a lot of chicken calls at this point, especially those ones from uh, two years ago. I still have a bunch of those calls in here about chickens. I should call them up. Roy, I'm just checking about those those chickens. I really like to talk to you. You may call 573. Okay, let's call this one. It's from May 25th of 2019, back when somebody sent me a ton of chicken people. It looks like this guy called uh, at least three times. His name's Cliff. Hello. Cliff. See you you later, Kevin. Cliff. Cliff. Yes. Hey, uh, it's it's Roy. I'm calling you back about those chickens. Yeah. yeah about, call- what, about you, what chickens? You left me a voicemail about the chickens. Okay. You don't remember? You're going to you're gonna have to enlighten me. That I've gone to sleep in between that time and now. Oh, well, here. Let- Roy, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm calling you about the do, chickens. Do you, do you hear the voicemail? I'm playing it. You got on Craigslist. Uh, give me a call back at 573. No. Oh, you don't hear it? No, afraid I, afraid I don't. Uh, you left the voicemail on May twenty fifth, two thousand nineteen. Well, you had that. I, I I do know that there was a guy that had had some chickens on on marketplace, and I inquired about them. But is that you? Yeah, yeah. I think I think that was Craigslist okay. though. It was in two thousand nineteen that you called me. Okay. So. Okay, you, so you you've got some chickens for sale or what? Well, no, they're dead now. That was two years ago. I'm just calling to tell you that they're dead and you don't get them. Okay. I don't have any chickens anymore. Okay. This was two years ago. I stopped dealing with chickens. Okay. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I moved on to better things than chickens. So you had them on Craigslist? Yeah, two years ago. And you called me, and I'm just now calling you back to let you know that the chickens are now dead. <laughs> you can't have them. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for calling me. Yeah, it, it's just that I, I looked on the internet, and I, I read all about you, and I, I know what you're all about, and... I wouldn't have been able to sell my chickens to somebody like you. Well, you have a good day. I hope you just you can live with yourself. Bye-bye. Oh, I hope you can live with yourself after what I read. All right, that was dumb. I apologize for that one. Okay, no more voicemails. No more prank line today. Hello? Heather. Hi. Hi, you need to hang up that phone. Hang it up. Excuse me. Huh? You you hang up that phone right now. What are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. You you just hang it up. I do not want to talk to you. You hang up that phone. You called me. Yeah, yeah, I called you to tell you to hang up the phone. I don't even know who this is. It doesn't matter who I am. Just hang it up. I don't even want to talk to you. Then why'd you call me? I don't even like to hear your voice. Then why'd you call me? Look, just hang up the phone. Stop being so who difficult. Are you, who are you looking for? Heather, you. Okay, what did I do and who are you? It doesn't matter. Just just hang it up. Hang up that phone right now. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm, I'm not talking even on about, the phone. 
You are too on the phone. You're talking to me, and I'm tired of hearing your voice, so you hang it up. Well, you just called me, so don't call me if you don't want to hear my voice. Well, why don't you just hang up, and then I won't have to hear your voice. Motherfucker. That was a number from Nick. Sorry, Nick. I think I ruined that one. But there was no address on that one, just the phone number and Heather, and it said she does house cleaning. All right, here's one from Nick. It's a guy that lives in the HOA area, and he does auto detailing. Hello. Hello, John. Yes. It's Gary from the Homeowners Association. Okay. Hey, I got a call from Carol Gersperms, your neighbor, and she said you keep putting bird poop decals on her car. Can you please not do that anymore? What are you talking about? A bird poop decals, and I, I guess you're just playing a prank on her. It's fine. It's no big deal, but can you not wait, do that? Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Hello? John? You, you faded out. John, we lo- I lost we lost you. Hello. Oh, hey, there you are. You must be on a cricket phone. I'm down here. Sorry, sorry. I don't know who you're talking about. I live out on twenty road. Right? Yeah, yeah. She, it's Carol Gersperm. She's your neighbor. The new lady. Yeah, she said you keep putting uh, bird poop decals on her car, and you can't oh, be. That's bullshit. I'm not doing that. Somebody else is playing a prank. Well, I'm not the one doing that. No, she's got a ring doorbell. She showed us the footage. That's not me. Sir, I don't even walk on her property. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me see the fucking footage tomorrow. Sir, tomorrow just, morning I'll be at her house. No, don't. I'll don't, be right at her house tomorrow no, morning. Don't, it's don't, not fucking don't me. Don't be silly. See, I, I told you. I, I told you that's him. That's it's him. It's not he, me. He, he, that is to it's him. It's not me. No, it's okay, Carol. I got this. I got this. Don't. It, sorry. It's got, not me, dude. I, well, you sound kind of guilty. You, you know, I don't sound kind of guilty. Well, I'm pissed off because I'm a 58 year old man. I'm not going to play fucking kids' games like this. Well, what are you, fucking. Retarded asshole! What? I ain't gonna play no fucking games like this. Did you say the retarded word? You got I'm sorry. The wrong fucking guy, dude. Sir, just just oh, like I... there's no reason to get so upset. No, just... no, 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 no. There is no polite. I didn't do this, nor will I be accused of it. Okay, well, I, I don't care what fucking footage she's got. It's not me. Okay, well, just, it's not me. I, I just I don't understand why you'd you'd walk all the way back to her street over there and drive to just to put what bird- are you talking about asshole well you, you were just you know you're walking back there uh, around the block just to put bird poop decals on her car are you fucking out of your mind dude well, no no you're dude. out of your mind no it's, you know what i got don't call me again be- I've, I've got carol on the phone okay. i've got carol on the phone I, that's and good that's good let me come and see the footage man you you need, you need to me. stay away from my car sir you are ap- out of your freaking mind. I, it's not me. I don't appreciate it's not you me. coming up in my driveway. It's not me. I don't even come back in that subdivision, ever. Yes, you it's do. It's not you, me. You, you come up here to put bird poop decals on my car. Are you out of your fucking mind, lady? It's not me. Pro- probably just so you can it, get more... It is not fucking me. Probably so you can get more business on your auto detailing business. I'm not going to buy your any of your auto detailing, so you can just give up on me. Sir? Oh, I think we lost him. John? All right, John hung up, I guess. Wow. All that over bird poop decals. That was another number from Nick. He showed me a post that that guy made on Nextdoor about doing auto detailing and that he lives in the HOA hood. So thanks for that one, Nick. There are so many numbers in here from Nick. Oh, and I gave that guy a different address since he seemed to know who she was. You know, the new lady on the street. I mean, not an address, just a street name that's like a block over from him so he doesn't think it's that lady because I didn't want him to show up at her house. So hopefully that confused him enough not to go to her house. Hi, this is Sarah. Oh, hey, Sarah. It's Gary from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi. Uh, I got a call from Carol Gersberms, and she was um, saying that you keep putting those bird poop decals on her car. And do you think you cannot do that anymore? Uh, I think you're calling the wrong person. Oh, is this Sarah? Yeah, I keep doing what? 
uh, putting bird poop decals on Carol's car that's in her driveway. Um, and like, uh, she just was hoping you could stop doing that. Who, who's Carol? Uh, Carol. I don't know what that is. Carol, Carol Gersperms. Who's that? Uh, well, she lives on <laughs> drive. Just, just up the street a bit. Uh, is this a joke? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't joke about this, ma'am. We just would hope that you could stop doing that. Uh, it's really getting on Carol's nerves and. Uh, I don't, I'm not doing that and I don't know a Carol. Okay. Well, it's a little weird that you'd be putting bird poop stickers on her car if you don't even know her. Bird poop stickers? Yeah. Decals. Um, yeah, I think you have the wrong person. Uh, no, definitely I... you. You you live on, so does Carol. Do we know a Carol? No. I'm asking my husband. Okay. I think I choose to put his bird poop decals on Carol's car on drive. Yeah, I <laughs> said. Huh? Well, it's not. It's not funny, ma'am. I, I know that you think this is all a joke, putting bird poop decals on Carol's car, but it, it's really upsetting her, and you shouldn't do that. Okay. Well, I. Could could I talk to your husband, please? Here. Hello? Hey there, it's Gary. Listen, that wife of yours, she needs to be kept on a leash or something. She's putting bird poop decals on Carol's car. Could you please tell her not to do that? Yep, I'll do it. Just, just uh, you know, order her not to do that anymore. Take away her bird poop decals. You got it. All right. Thank you so much, sir. No. Keep keep that wife of yours under control. Well, shit, that wasn't nearly as good with the bird poop decals, but whatever. I'm going to try it again, maybe. Hello? Hi, Edith? Yeah? Hey, it's uh, Gary from the Homeowners Association. Hey, um, uh, we got a call from Carol Gersperms down the street from you. And she was just hoping you could stop putting those uh, bird poop decals in her car. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, she's got a ring doorbell, and she showed us the footage of you going up in her driveway and putting bird poop decals in her car. So could you please not do that anymore? She, she's, Wait, it's is really, this a joke? Oh, no, I wouldn't is joke this... about this, ma'am. It's just Wait, a... what, what, what subdivision do you you're, live in? You're, you're upsetting Carol. Well, she, she, yeah. li- she lives over on drive kind of behind you i i haven't been home all weekend okay well, who do you think who do you think you called wait i want that was is this is this edie edith yeah but i swear i haven't done that i haven't even been home all week i've been in chicago well i don't know what she she said you're you're, you're always about? doing stuff like this to her and this is just the latest in a long string of incidents can you please just not do this Someone no, because you're accusing me of something I have not done. Well, and then who are you? You're not our homeowner guy. Well, it's that guy on the corner. Right. Well, this is Gary. I'm just making the phone calls. I'm, wor- I'm working from home. Oh, what? Gary who? Gary Anderson. This is a joke. No, it's not a joke. Ma'am, please stop playing jokes on Carol. Like... That's her car. I know you're not damaging it, but it's still, it's it's annoying to her, and you shouldn't be doing that. I don't even know what you're... We don't even know what the fuck you're talking and, about. And you, talking. you tell that Crazy. husband of yours just to shut the fuck up. Tell him to get off the phone. We're talking. It has nothing to do with him. Okay. Oh, the husband hung up. He didn't like that. Let's try calling this lady named Tina in the same neighborhood. Hello? T- Tina? Tina? Uh, hello? Hello? What the hell's going on? Tina! I think they tried to hit the, the FU button and then they just didn't do it right or something. Probably hit the answer button instead and put it back in their pocket.
Tina. Let me try one more time. Hello? Hi, I was calling for Tina. It's Gary from the Homeowners Association. Oh, from the Homeowners Tina, you got you got my number, not hers. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is the number she put down. Uh, women, I tell you. Yeah, what's up? Oh, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Alan. I'm her husband. Oh, hey, Alan. Uh, we, we got, um, we got a call from Carol Gersberms and she's telling us how Tina keeps putting uh bullet hole decals on her car. So could you ask Tina, to, what? can you ask Tina to stop putting bullet hole decals on, on Carol's car like that? I have no idea who you're talking about and she's never done that. So I don't know who that. Oh no. It, it, who is Carol? T- Tina's been doing this for a while. She keeps going over to Carol's house and putting bullet hole decals on her car, like, like she got shot by the police or something. Oh, you know? Wait, wait. wait. Num- number one, who is Carol? Uh, Carol Gersperm. She lives just down the street from you. On um, Spruce? Yeah, yeah. So could you please just talk to that wife of yours and and tell her not to be doing stuff like that? Wait, wait. No, I'm not gonna talk to her because she's never done that. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it. it like, she's you know, in the house all the She doesn't go out. She's 70 years old. What are you talking about? Well, maybe she's just not telling you about it, and she just thinks it's funny. But you need to tell her it's not funny. It's upsetting Carol. I'm not going to tell her because you, you're crazy. No, she I'm, doesn't do it. I'm home with Listen, we're both retired. I'm home with her all the time. Then, There's no time she could even do that. Are you home right now? And she would never do that. I'm going to be home in about two minutes. Oh, so you're not home with her all the time. I see. What, who are you now? Wait a minute. Are uh, you the, head of the HOA or what? No, I'm not the head of the HOA. I'm, this is Gary. I just I'm, I'm on the HOA board and just calm to please ask ask you to please tell her to stop I'm doing that. I'm not going to do that. You give you call Carol and tell her to come to my house. No, because Ca- this is a bunch of crap. Ca- Carol no. doesn't feel comfortable doing that because you you know Tina's always putting. I don't know who Carol is. No, yeah. I'm not going to tell her nothing. Yeah, Carol says you she tell doesn't. Carol, you tell Carol she got a problem, come talk to me. Carol says she doesn't really know Tina either, and that makes it even weirder. What? No, are, how far down do they live from me? I live right on the corner. I yeah. live right on the corner. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like way on the other end, and that's a long way to be walking just to put bullet hole decals on she one She can't per- even hardly walk. She's on medicine twice a day. She's got... A lung disease. So I don't know who. This is this is uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it, it she, is whoever ridiculous. Whoever this you, woman is, you tell Tina to cut whoever, that out. You tell that wife of yours to I'm not stop it. Tell, I ain't gonna tell her to cut it out. Well, yeah. I don't know. Are you? Is this a joke or what? No, I would not kid about something like this. Carol's very upset that that Tina keeps doing this, putting those bullet so holes. Carol doesn't even know Tina, and Tina doesn't even know Carol. Yeah, and she says so, it's, it's not even, it was funny the first time because it, it kind of fooled her. She really thought there was bullet holes in her car, but now she knows that they're decals. So what's the point? Just stop it. Well, I think you're nuts. So I don't know who you are. Well, this is, I don't even believe you're on HOA. Oh, yes, and, I am. And, uh, Could call and ask anyone. This is Gary. Well, Gary, have some common sense. Come down and talk to me. Don't tell me some bullshit about my wife putting stuff on somebody's car. Well, Carol has one of those. If, she did, those, if those, she did that, I would know it. Carol has one Number of those one. camera doorbells, so she knows that she. You know, we saw. All right, the, all right then have her, have her give you a video because I got one too. Oh, I already saw. You it. have her give a video. What do you have a video of? Of her not doing it? No, you you let me see the video of my wife, and then I'll gladly tell my wife. That she's doing something wrong. Well, can you just put her on the phone real quick? I'll, I'll have a talking to with her. I'm not going to put her on the phone. Why not? I'm not even home yet. Because you know she's guilty. I'm, That's why. You are nuts. I'm not nuts. I'm on the HOA board. You're going to tell me, anyway, you're going to tell me my wife is guilty. Then I know this is some kind of joke. No, oh, it's not a joke, sir. You, you tell her to cut well, it you've out. Been, you've been, well, I'll tell you what. Then you call the police and have them come to my house. You've had enough of, of Tina's pranks around the you neighborhood. You call the police and have, don't give me this bullshit. I don't know who you are. I think you're I think you're full of shit. I think it's a joke. What do you mean you know who I, I am? Know, uh, I said I don't know who you are, but oh. I'll find out who you are. I told you who I am. This is Gary from the HOA, and you need to tell Tina to... Gary who? Gary who? What's tell, your last name? Tell Gary Tina who? to grow up. No, get off my back. 
You're so Jesus. This is a joke. You're a joke. Tina's a joke. Always joking. Always joking around with the neighbors like that. It's ridiculous. Who it's you? Like, are, if if you know what? If I thought you were serious on HOA, I'd come to that next meeting and say you got your ass out to be fired because you're worthless. Oh, you come to the meeting. You you bring Tina with you. We're gonna. We're gonna put her up on trial. Why don't you come to my house? And, why don't you come to my house and talk to me? Why don't you just come to an I'll HOA home, meeting? I'll be home in about five minutes. Why don't oh, you come to my house and talk to me? Well, before it was, and I'll let you talk to Tina. Be, and I'll let you talk to Tina too. Before you said it was two minutes. Now it's five minutes. You're so full of shit. <laughs> Who is this? It's Gary, the HOA. <laughs> Gary HOA. All right. Joke's All right. over. I don't know who you are, but yeah, the joke is over. You tell Tina the joke's over. Well, I'll go find out. I'll go find out who Gary is. Oh, go ahead. So we'll I, a, I dare we'll you. A, I will. I'll see if there's a Gary. <laughs> you know what? If you come to my house, I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah that's I'm, sweet. I'm gonna, that's real sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna kiss you square on the mouth with my lips. Yeah, good. I'm gonna be like. How about if I bend over and you just kiss my ass? Nope. I'm <laughs> I'm a married man. I'm only gonna kiss you on the mouth. Okay. Okay. All right. I love you. Yeah, okay. I had enough. <laughs> Whoever this is, I had enough. Goodbye. All right. Bye. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was another number of Nick's. Thanks again, Nick. I'm basically just calling nothing but Nick's numbers again today. I didn't mean for it to happen this way. I tried other numbers, but a lot of stuff's not picking up today, including Nick's numbers. And that guy was trying to sell a tractor, a John Deere tractor. Four years ago, he was doing that. I mean, it was under Tina's name, so I guess she gave his number. Oh, there's there's two numbers on here. Should I call Tina? I just now noticed this. Let's... Hi. This number is using RoboKiller to screen their calls. Ugh. Please say your name and the purpose of your call, and I'll try to connect you. Hey, Tina, it's Carol down the street. Carol Gersperms. Thanks. Your call has been forwarded to an oh, automated voice messaging system. Tina's not going to pick up. I've got a number here from the sign guy. It's a cookie place that opened up just a couple doors down from a martial arts academy. And I'm supposed to call as Sensei Doug. He doesn't really tell me what to do. He says it just opened, though. Hopefully it hasn't closed for the day. It looks like this is in a... Hello, this is Cookies and Creamery. Oh, hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. You know, around down a couple uh, doors. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, hey, could you please stop putting bird poop decals on my customers' cars? That's not cool. Bird poop decal. Uh, I'm... I... I don't know what you're talking about. I can talk to my manager if you would like, but I don't think that would be related to us. Oh no, I'm I'm sure it's you. We we see you. We see them wearing the cookie uniform. So can you, you please just not be doing that anymore? It's it's upsetting my customers because they think there's really bird poop on their cars and it's just a decal. That's interesting. I know we do sell our aprons to customers, so I I'll talk to my manager. Okay, I'll just put them on the phone then. All right. I, he's not here at the moment. I'll, I'll call him, okay? Oh, how uh, convenient. I'm sorry about that. All right. D can you just please not do it anymore? Just please. Who else is there right now? Uh, it's just me at the moment. Well, it, it has to be you then because they were just here. Just don't put... Sure, I... Okay. Just don't be doing that. I have not left the shop since I, I came in. So I, I, it, would, it would not have been me. Well, who I'm, else would have been over here in, in a uniform? And they're always doing that, too. They're always putting bird poop decals on everyone's cars here. Okay, uh, let me call my manager, and I, I can have him talk to you, okay? Okay, uh, put him on three-way. Uh, okay, let me, or, let me see. I'm or, not sure how to do that. Can I, can I call you, give you a call back once I or, call him, or if, I can have him come talk to you? I guess. Or if you have his number, I, I can call him and put him on three-way. Uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can, I'll give you his number right now. Okay. Have to get to my contacts. All right, are you ready? Yep. Yep. Seven zero two. Uh huh. Yep. Three three. Okay, and, and what's his name? Steve. Steve, Steve Bosserman. Steve Dave. Okay. Let, let me see if he'll, he'll pick up for me. All right. This is Steve. Hello. 
Hello? This is Steve. Yeah, hello? Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, there should be another person on this call from the martial arts academy uh, down a couple doors. Okay. Okay, uh, well, he, so he was calling me saying that there was people putting bird poop decals on cars in front of his restaurant in our aprons. He wanted to talk to you. Who is this? Hello? This, this is Kevin. Oh, hi. This phone number is not your normal phone number, right? Yeah, I know. Or, I'll, I I'll know. explain it in a second. I need to help a customer out. I'll call you back. Yeah, no no worries. All right, bye. All right, bye. Well, damn it. They both, they both hung up. I wanted to hear him explain it a little bit more. So let me try Steve back. This is Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. It's Sensei Doug from the martial arts place just a couple doors down. Hey. hey. How are you? Pretty good. I was just hoping you could tell Kevin to stop putting those bird poop decals on my customers' cars. Like, it, they're, they're, Some of them don't appreciate it, and some of them think it's funny, but it's just a little weird. Um. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. You, you, you're saying specifically it's Kevin. You know that Kevin's doing that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, he's in his uniform and everything. You'd, you'd think he'd have customers over there to take care of, but he keeps running over here and putting bird poop decals on everyone's cars. Really? I don't know what kind of joke when, th- that is. I don't. I don't really get it. it doesn't seem, yeah. When seem did that, that? When did that happen? Oh, it's been happening for days now. Like with, it's always with Kevin. He's always running over here and putting bird poop decals on everyone's cars. Huh. Uh, what's the, uh, do, do you know, just to be sure, we're talking about the same person. What does Kevin look like? Uh, looks like a hooligan. <laughs> okay. Can you be more specific than that? Well, it doesn't matter what he looks like. Just just tell him to stop putting those bird poop decals on everyone's cars. Wait, it's, it matters it's weird. what he looks like so that I know that I'm talking to the right I don't care. When I'm... Well, he's the only one over there right now, and and like I I went over there and looked in the window, and that was him. So okay, if you could just tell Kevin is, to cut that is, out. Is, yeah, is, is David or uh, or Kyoshi there by chance today? Uh, sensei David. Yeah, you, Sensei David. You have to or refer to Kiyoshi, them as if we're a Sensei. You have to say Sensei before our names. Okay, are they there today? Uh, no, no, just me here tonight holding down the fort. So it makes it okay. extra hard to deal with these people complaining about bird poop decals. Yeah, on their cars. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely address it. I appreciate the call. Oh, no problem at all. All right, bye bye. All right, I love you. Excuse me. I said I love you. It's a sensei way of saying goodbye. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> what do you mean? But thanks. All right. Uh, You're supposed I, I've never heard never heard that from either of the other teachers there. Well, so. traditionally, you would say "I love you too." Okay. Uh, let Let me get back to you on that. What? Whether or not you love me? Has he got to consult with his wife first to make sure it's okay to love another man? It looks like there's some other businesses around this martial arts place. Minimart. Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the shopping center across the parking lot. Uh-huh. Uh, do you think you could stop coming over here and putting bird poop decals on my customers' cars? What happened? Uh, well, you keep coming over here and putting bird poop decals on my customers' cars, and it's not funny. Can you please stop? Are you, like, prank calling or something? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. I'm a grown-ass man. And, uh, and a sensei. This, this is a store. I know, you're the gas station over there in the corner. Yeah, so when it comes to bird poop, we have nothing... Well, it's not real bird... It's it's not real bird poop. It's You keep putting bird poop decals on my customers' cars. Uh, We don't put decals on anybody's cars, sir. Well, you've been putting bird poop decals. We saw you out the window. Um, when? Today. So can you please just stop doing it? it? You're not in trouble, just... If you could just stop, you know, just cut that out, please. Ma'am? She saw right through my prank. And most of these places aren't even picking up. Or they don't even have numbers listed on them on Google Maps. So let's try this place. Hi, you've reached American. We're closed at the present time. Please try calling. Yeah, I can't get anyone else to answer. You know what? This shopping center actually looks familiar to me. I feel like I've made pranks to these people before. I think I was doing a laser pointer prank between a couple of these buildings. 
So that's probably why the sign guy just wanted me to only call the cookie place. Because I've already called a bunch of these businesses. Minimart. Hey there, it's Carol from the corporate office with Philip 66. Uh, what was that again? Uh, it's Carol from the corporate office. Uh, hello. Hello. Hey, we got a, one of your neighbors there was complaining that you keep putting bird poop decals on their customers' cars. Could you please not do that anymore? Um, the thing is, is I'm not. Oh, no, they, they showed us a video of it. So we know it's you. Um, it's, it's no big deal. You're not in any trouble. Just please don't be missed. putting... I'm put, sorry, but I, it's not... I don't put decals on nobody's cars. I don't even leave the store. Yeah. Can I get your name again? Yeah, you shouldn't be leaving the store, especially when you're on can shift. I, uh, exactly. I don't leave the store, ma'am. So can I get your name again? Uh, sure. Corporate it's office you Carol Gersperms from the Phillips 66 corporate office. Would you like a receipt? And what's the last name again? Oh, Gersperms. Common Spell spelling. It for me, please. Oh, sure. G is in gnome. Uh -huh. E is in I. R as in Arwanda. Uh huh. Uh, S as in C. Uh huh. Uh, B as in B. B Q. Mm -hmm. E as e in I. R as in Arwanda. Okay. M as in mnemonic. Uh huh. And you said you're calling from where? And, and from the corporate office. Look, I'm <laughs> also I'm watching you on the security cameras right now, and you need to pull up your socks. Yeah, you know, y'all prank calling. Like, what, what the fuck is... What? Ma'am? Hello? All right, I guess I'm done with this area, and I've probably prank called her before. Or at least the store I've prank called before, I bet. Thank you for that one sign, guy. Both Kevin and Steve are thoroughly confused now, all thanks to you. Here's another one by the sign guy. It's a picture of a guy's car. He says, I didn't know landscapers drove crappy Chevys. And it's a picture of a Chevy, the back of a Chevy. It looks like he took it while he's in traffic, and it has a landscaping business number on the back of it, on the wind. This is Toady. Oh, hey, Toady. Did you say Toady? Hello? Hi, it's Steve Dave. Uh, how's it going? Pretty good. Uh, I'm sorry I dinged your car. Your Chevy? Huh? I'm sorry I, ding Where? I dinged your Chevy. Oh, you did? Yeah. So sorry about that. It was an accident. Uh, what happened? It was an accident. Yeah, how, is it bad? Well, it's not bad. Well, I mean, you can't even see it from, from you know, if you're standing up. It's more on the under, like, undercarriage. At the apartment? Yeah. Um, all right. And I, I, I think I, I may, may have dented up the muffler a little bit. Like in the in the the tailpipe, the whole pipe assembly thing. Yeah, how did you do that? Because I'm about to sell it tomorrow. Well, I don't think you even need to tell him about it because it wasn't a big deal. It's just a little banged up underneath. I don't think I broke anything. I think it's just dented on the underside. Okay, what what happened? I was driving it and I went over a median. You were driving what? I was driving your car, and I went over a median. I didn't, you were driving my car. Yeah. And I, I didn't see the median. I, I turned a little bit too soon. I may have been drinking a little bit. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm just saying I'm sorry, and it won't happen again, and I'm very sorry. I think you have the wrong number. You're the landscaping guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I dinged your Chevy. I'm sorry. What kind of new car are you getting? Well, I'm so confused. It's sitting at the apartment? Yeah, but I, I just took it out for a quick drive the the other night. The other night? Yes. And I'm sorry I dinged your car. What? Did you drive it with me? No. No, I was just... Look, when I was a bit younger, I used to steal cars. I don't really do that anymore. But I do like to just occasionally jump one and, you know, just take it for a quick spin. Because I still have my old, all my old burglary tools. And what is your name? So I, I, I didn't hurt, I didn't hurt it. I just kind of dinged it a little bit on the bottom. This is Steve Dave. And what day was this? 
I forget. It was a couple nights. It was not last night. I think it was the night before. It's on the weekend. On the weekend. And so do you live around? Like, I'm so confused. Yeah, I live here at the apartments. I'm, ho- I'm home right now. I just, I, I just felt I should call you and tell you I'm sorry that I dinged your car. And where do you live at? In the apartments. So you have a seller lined up? Have a what? You, you, I have a buyer, I mean. Like you said, you're selling it tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. So it's basically not even your problem anymore. I guess problem solved. So yay, that's that's good good news. That's not good news if you drove my car. I'm so confused. Okay, well I won't do it again, and I won't drive drive your new car. Will, will your new car be parked in the same spot? I won't do that one again. Hello. Uh, yeah. What's your name, Steve Levy? No, Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah, Dave D A V E. Yeah, it sounds like a two first names. Yeah, well, it, it it kind of is. It's it used to be hyphenated, but I had it shortened, so there's no hyphen anymore. Gotcha. So who gave you my number? Uh, it's it's written on your car. Gotcha. So yeah, I'm very sorry that I dinged your car. All right. And banged up the muffler. I just took it over a median. Luckily, I didn't get it stuck on the median. I started to, but I, I went back and forth a bunch until I finally got off of it. But I, de- I looked okay. under there, and I definitely, uh, yep, it's all it's all banged up. But nothing's, there's no holes or anything. Uh-huh. All right. Some... Uh, well, cool, man. Thanks for telling me. Oh, you're welcome. I'm very sorry. It was just an accident, you know. How how it is? Okay. Are, are you mad? All right. Huh? Are, are you angry? No. Okay. Good. So, what apartment do you stay in? Which apartment number? I'm in. Yeah. I'm in two two thirteen. I don't think anybody lived in two thirteen. I have squatters' rights. You what? I have squatters' rights. Gotcha. So who? So who told you to call me? Nobody. I just saw your number. Saw your number and thought I'd call and apologize for what I did. Okay. Well, if you saw my number, then you would have saw it two days ago when you did it. Yeah. Exactly. I I didn't feel like calling then. I was kind of high. Oh, I thought you were drunk. And high. All right. Okay. Okay. So are you home now? Uh, yes. So can you, like, show me the damage you're talking about? No. No, I'm not coming. I'm not going outside. I haven't been outside at all today, and I'm not about to start going outside today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't even have, all right. I don't even have pants on. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for the call. When are they supposed to come and buy it? Well, I'm selling it to a dealership. Oh, are you going to tell them about the damage? Uh, maybe. I wouldn't, because you you might get less less for it. You know. All right. Like, just don't say anything. It's just the, mainly just the muffler and the, the, the tailpipe, or the, the pipe. You know, the pipe pipe. I don't know much about cars. Like the pipe? Yeah, pipe? The, the one that goes from the, the front of the car to the back of the car. It goes all the way down the car. All right. That pipe. And the, so it's in the front of the pipe? No, it's more near the back. Like, uh, you know, I, I went over the whole median, but it was when I was coming off of the median, that's when it really banged down on the median and and crushed everything up. You'll, you'll notice a rattling in the muffler now. 
Yeah, and, and where was it? Yeah, on like, where the, did it happen at? Oh, not too far from the apartments. I didn't take it very far. I didn't want to use up all your gas. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, you're welcome. I'm sorry that I dinged your car. All right. Thanks for the call. You're welcome. I love you. All right. Bye. Uh, say it back, please. Okay. Goodbye. No, say I love you, too. And you need some help, man. What? Why would you say that? What does he mean, I need some help? I was nice enough to call and apologize for dinging his car. He's just trying to insult me. Whatever. Oh, great. Who's this? Uh, I've got a call coming back. Not sure who it is. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. What? You just called me. Oh, did I? What did I say? What is it that you need, man? You just called me. Well, I already told you what I needed. So what the fuck? Why are you yelling at me? I don't know who you're talking to. Motherfucker. What is it that you need? I don't know. Man, fuck you. <laughs> wow. That must be a guy that didn't pick up. I don't think I ever talked to him. But that was rude. You know what? I'm going to call him right back. I think my wife needs to have a word with him. Hello? Hey, this is Carol Gersperms. Okay. And you just called up my husband and you used the F word with him. How yeah, dare ma'am, he, he must, ma'am, he must have called the wrong number. He saw, he snapped on me. Bullshit. What is it that you need? That's Bullshit. all I'm asking. He didn't snap on you. He, like, you, well, you fuck just, you too, bitch. You just, like, <laughs> Oh, great. Here, here's another number, another call coming in. Not sure who this is either. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. What do you want? You guys, uh, I just received a call from you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was calling to tell you, fuck you. Okay. How do you like that? Why is that? Uh, just because I say so. Don't worry about it. Okay. You better just All hang right. up that phone. <laughs> ah, that guy was no fun. Anyway, I think I'm done with the phone calls. Let's play some voicemails and end this show. Hiya, Brad. It's Josh from Los Angeles. Hiya, Josh. I just wanted to... I'm, ca I'm catching up on back episodes, so I just wanted to say thank you for sharing that uh, I Wonder What's Inside Your Butthole song. Best song now, ever. Now, whenever I walk my dog and he poops, I say, I wonder what's inside your pup hole. So that's nice. You. I love you. That sounds grosser hi. for some reason. Hi, Brad. I'm just calling to say hi. Um, hi. It's Sunday of June 20th. Um, have a good day. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Hi. Hey, Brad. It's SD Link. Calling hey. from beautiful Roy, Delaware here. It is currently, right. looks like it's 87 degrees here. Just listening to your snowplow show. And I hear you talking about the Wasted Memory Meetup and Dragon Mirror Meetup. Yeah. Talking about going on Devin's show and Dwight's show. But you're not going on Wasted Memory show or Dragon Mirror show anymore. Sorry. What the fuck, man? Sorry. You come do some prank calls with us. Okay. I see you piping away in the chat there. I will. I know you're there. I know you're listening. Come do some pranks with us. Okay. Come call hotels with us. I'll be there soon. We can tell them that I, promise. I ran you over with my car or some shit. I'll okay, bye. Try to be there. I really haven't been on a lot of shows lately. I was on Dwight's show this past week, or I guess a week ago. But other than that, I haven't been on a whole lot of shows. I'm more of a listener than a person calling in these days, but I've been meaning to call into some others. I last 30 seconds for a goddammit. That's generous. I don't even think I can last 15 with you, man. Oh, wow. But anyways, I would just like to be calling because I'm looking for a business job and I just took a fat shit. Okay, bye. All right. Thanks for that. Holy shit. Here's a really long voicemail. Yo, 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 Brad. Hey. It's Dirty Dr. Dan. I'm calling from Missouri. Hey. I um I feel real dizzy and I'm not I'm not sure if that's nice of you yep. to have the uh, music playing loudly in the background while you're making a phone call. Good job with that. I'm burning trash in my garage and I'm I can't I, I'm I'm dizzy. Is it I don't know. Am I dying of carbon monoxide? Probably. That's probably what it stronger? is. It's hard to tell. We'll see, right? Yeah, okay, thanks for this voicemail, Dirty Dr. Dan. It goes on for another minute and 15 seconds, it looks like. And I'm reading ahead, and it kind of looks like it doesn't change much 
from what he's been saying. He's dizzy, everybody. Snow plow like clogs pipes, so you got a rooter. We don't like pieces of shit in the back room to look at the computer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Okay, thanks for that. Hey, Brad, it's Justin from Maryland. Uh, hey. Just calling to say, do a voicemail episode. You have been... Uh, you have a backlog of voicemails that I think goes all the way back to the beginning of COVID. Mm -hmm. And every time at the end of a, end of a show, you say, "Oh man, you know I should do more voicemails, but I really need to get this episode edited and man, put up." <sighs> I know. So, so you're you're always going to keep making that excuse. So just either do a whole voicemail episode and get them all played, or just take everything and delete all the old voicemails. Oh, that takes forever. You're never going to do it otherwise. I have to delete them one at a time on Google Voice. It sucks. Do it, man. Everybody wants to hear it, and the people that don't like voicemails, they'll just skip it because they know the whole show is voicemail. So yeah, what? It doesn't true. matter. Everybody, okay. it'll be great. Just do it. Okay. Yeah, bye. it'll be so great. People love it. They do go back to over a year ago now. Where would I put a voicemail show though? Should that be like a hidden thing, or should that just be on the Snowplow Show feed? Is that a supporters only type of thing? I don't know. Hey, Brad. This is Cameron from Missouri. Hey. Uh, I was just listening to your show, and I know you always like to do that bit about, oh, I wouldn't joke, I'm a Christian. I was wondering if you ever did it's true. Uh, maybe a joke where you were like, no, I, I wouldn't kid, uh, Allah forbids it, and it's against uh, Allah's teaching in the Quran or anything like that, maybe change up the religion, especially, you know, if you're talking to a redneck or something, <laughs> maybe yeah, hate maybe. Uh, what the Muslims fuck? or something, I know that'd be kind of funny. It's not my God. Anyways, enjoy the show. Bye. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that. Maybe I will someday. Praise Allah, everybody. Hey, this is MC. I just wanted to ask you, how far behind hey. are you on email requests, on requests via email? Sent you some crazy... Very far. ...signs, mm, you know, ideas and requests, but I'm not more important than other people, so I'll shut the fuck up. But are you, like, four years behind? Oh, yeah, yeah, easily four years behind. But, I mean, you know, like, I... I try numbers and they don't pick up, so a lot of these I've tried already and they just never picked up. I'm going back all the way to the beginning right now. I am five years behind, a little more than five years, but it's not exactly behind. It's just some of it I've tried, some of it I haven't tried. I'd like to get to everything. Occasionally I send some of my stuff into other prank call shows so that it doesn't go to waste, but I just get too much sent to me. Thanks everybody for sending so much stuff to me. For a month, just curious. Thank you so much Five for everything years. you do, and especially all the editing you do. It must be a crazy, crazy endeavor every time you have to edit everything compared yeah. to the live shows that I hear others doing that are just, you know, phones ringing. And yeah, you hear that, others? I'm better than you. Mumbling. Uh, take that. <laughs> they're awesome, but, you know, you're just over the top. So thank you so much. You take Aww, care. Thank you. I try. I don't think I could release an unedited show anymore. I've heard some of my old shows where I didn't used to edit anything, and those aren't as fun to listen to. Hey, Brad. It's hey. Will, originally from Florida, but I moved up to Asheville at the beginning of the year. Asheville? And I was just listening to your last episode. Like another North Carolina listener. Holy shit. Earlier this morning, and I heard one of your voicemail callers say that they have a coworker who also listens to the snowplow, and it reminded me of a voicemail I wanted to leave you. About two weeks ago, I was downtown in Asheville. I know, I'm driving on, I'll get to the point. But basically, Pretty long story up. short, I randomly ran into another person who not only knows about the snowplow show, but they know about Brad Carter, and they know who you are, the phone loses, all of that. Kill um, him for me, kill them. I, it all came from me saying I was from Rolly, New Mexico. He oh, just nice. perked up to, hey, you get that from the phone losers? And... Needless to say, I've been mind blown ever since. So, we yeah. need to have Roy New Mexico shirts, don't we? For everybody to wear around. I, I met another listener Roy in New the Mexico. Wild. Never thought it would happen, but uh, here we are. Sorry, that's closer to a minute than 30 seconds, but uh, all right. Bye, Brad. Love you. I love that his immediate response to Roy New Mexico was, did you get that from phone losers? Because who else would mention Roy New Mexico for anything? There's nothing going on in Roy New Mexico. Hey, Brad. It's Tucker Mike calling from Canada. Hey, Tucker Mike. Um, you were looking for new suggestions for the name of your prank call office. Nah. I'm suggesting not anymore. the Comptroller's Office. That's coming from Tucker Mike in Canada. Okay. Bye, Brad. Bye. Love you, honey baby. Yeah. No, it's too late. We've already named the new studio the Prank Call Call Center because I already have the domain name and I've renewed it for a year. I can't change it now. Hey there, Rob. Hey. Rob. Hey. 
How's it going? Uh, hey. I'm going to switch to my actual voice. This is hey. A Nick hey calling a second time. So before it was phone swapping. Okay, you're going to hate this too. Um, so you can combine your your wacky physics experiments with uh, 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 with uh, fuck. What was I thinking? Oh, oh, so, is this so, why your voicemail is over a minute long? Ghost apps or invisible apps. So on, on, you could be like the phone company. You'd be like, oh, there's like this app you can't see, and in order to get rid of it, you have to talk to your phone and say things to delete it. And then you could have them use like their Siri device or whatever, have them talk to that, or like just have them say something like, if it if it's a wacky ghost experiment, they can use you know. Listen here, this ain't the goddamn idea line. You're calling right now. Why are you calling in here and giving me ideas? The power of Christ compels me. Yeah. Or you or whatever. Power of Christ. That kind of thing. You get I mean, what I'm the, saying? The power of Allah. That's who compels me these days. Hey, Brad. This is I don't regret not jumping, not I regret jumping. And I have a question for hey. you. Hey. After you're done editing and it's all up on your podcast feed, do you ever go and just for fun listen to your own work? Sometimes. And um, just for entertainment, not to not to criticize. Not on my own, but sometimes I do those uh, premieres on YouTube where you listen with the other people who are listening, and that can be fun. But it's not exactly fun to hear the show again, unless I just had some really amazing calls in that show. I mean, that's every show, of course. It's always amazing calls, but you know what I mean. I like I just finished making the calls and then i finished editing the calls which means i had to hear them twice so listening to them after i'm done editing is like listening to them for a third time in the same day i never do that on my own but sometimes i do those premiere things on youtube your own you know not for self-reflection but just just for the humor of it are you a connoisseur of what you produce yeah no just just curious that'd be weird but I have, like, uh, people leave a comment on YouTube and I get, you know, emails with the comment in there and they say something that makes me want to hear a certain part of the show and it's an old show from, you know, five years ago or whatever and I just kind of forget to turn it off while I'm doing other things and I start hearing my own shows, like really old shows. And sometimes that's kind of fun to do. And I can be like, wow, remember back when I was funny, back when the show was good, before I was a big sellout? Those were the days... But yeah, I basically have to listen to my shows during editing. So I listen to every show that I do. It's just that I'm editing them while I'm listening to them. So I don't think that counts. I think I'm done with voicemails, everybody. And I'm done with the show. Thank you for listening today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you can blame Lord and Lady of Veggies, Ryan B., Brennan, Shrink Man, and High School Graduate. They're the ones responsible for this atrocity. I apologize on their behalf. Let's end the show with another song from this Vista Blue Hang Up the Phone Snowplow Show Songs album. Here's Reefer Badness with the Go Cup song. You can tell Andy to suck a dick. I don't care about Andy. You, you let Andy know I said that too. This is the most bizarre phone call I've ever received. 